Apache training camp. Yeah, I've been out to Slovenia in the uh, Italian Alps for uh, a month, yeah. about July. Talk us through. Uh, oh, it's amazing. Just riding up and down mines, running up and down mines every day. Uh, spent a month, you know, incredible scenery. Just, yeah, it, was, it was pretty incredible. So it's just really hard training. Obviously, you ease yourself into it because it's attitude, so you have to go a bit easier. And then uh, by the end of the camp, you go in like you would at sea level, you know, 30 hours a week. Just running right into them. Uh, the training out there, as I said, already is absolutely amazing. It's just you don't get bored of being outside. You just, it's just you want to ride. You don't. It's no like, oh, I've only done three hours and then you've got five hour ride. It's like, oh, as if I'm three hours in already, kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's just it's just so much fun. And the altitude itself, did you notice that? Did that affect your training? Yeah, you notice it when you first get up there, so your heart rate just goes through the roof. Uh, if you wear a heart rate monitor and you go out for a run, uh, you'd be running. We did a temporary run and I was running 12k an hour and it was first threshold. Like, and my first threshold was usually about 18, so it was like, that is incredibly, it's incredibly different. It's like, you suddenly become a middle-aged a middle aged guy who's got quite a lot of weight. Um, but by the end of the camp, you're back to normal, so that's when the adaptation is taking place. Yeah, you definitely notice the attitude, 100%. Uh, even when you're breathing, you're just breathing really hard. Uh, but yeah, by the end of it, you, you're flying. So you've come down and you've noticed the difference coming back down to sea level. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, just able to push yourself that much harder. It's got an extra one or two percent, so if you're doing a run session, you've just got maybe another rep in you, and maybe just slightly faster, just, and you'll be able to hold that intensity. So you still do the same amount of volume, but push the intensity even more, so that, that's the benefit of it. So the actual benefit of the attitude is that now I've come back and I can put in a really good block of training, really hurt myself in training and recover quite fast because because of the extra additional benefits I get from the attitude. So hopefully when it comes to my key race, uh, Calabria World Cup in a couple of weeks time, I'll be I'll be in great shape, I'll even be in better shape to so hurt myself just that, like I say, one or two percent more and hopefully that'll get me results on you. What advice would you give to people who were looking to do an altitude training camp? Uh, you got to plan. You got to. You got to have. You got to plan. You got to plan for it. You got the right equipment. So the right bike. The right. The right gear. Make sure you're taking loads of hydration tabs. Just loads of things like that. You got to have enough time. So there's no point in just going for a week because it's not long enough to adapt. You got to go for at least three weeks. So a week just to get used to it, and then two weeks proper training after that. And uh, I'd say, you know, you need to read up about it before you go. You need to make sure that you're getting your time zones, your time timing is right. So if you come straight back, back down, you got about two days where you're going to be absolutely flying, but you get ten days after that where you're going to be in real trouble if you're racing. Uh, and after that, after those ten days have passed, then you can race again. So it's just little timings like that. Also, I've seen people basically come back in a coffin because they just ignore the attitude part of it. So like I say. I'll drink at first threshold my first week about 6k an hour slower. If you go up to the altitude and you run at what is your sea level threshold straight away, you'll just put a nail in the coffin and you won't even realise you've done it until a day later. That'll be it. And that is essentially you know, a month off training because you just won't recover from it. So just being careful and doing your research before you go. Perfect. And then in terms of what you're up to, you mentioned Carlo Bugari, um, do you want to round up what you've done since the camp and then what you've got coming up in the lead up to your next key race? So, so since the camp, uh, I've had a, we had a London triathlon, so the mixed relay and the Olympic distance. Uh, it went okay, it went well, um, I feel like I'm in good shape, just a few mistakes maybe, too much work on the bike, I mean I'm running on something and I'm, I'm going well, it's just perhaps a bit too much work, although I felt fit. Um, I think I'm in a good. I'm, I think I'm in a great place. My key race, like I say, is Calabriari. Uh, before that, I got a continental cup in Hungary. So basically, what I'm aiming to do now is uh, just build on the fitness I've got and just sharpen that race stage up a bit. I think I've got the base there. I think I've got the fitness to do well. It's just just sharpen that base because Calabriari is probably the hardest bike course I've ever done in my life. It's got cobbles. It's got so many hills. It's just up and down. Really technical. That I think. The race is going to be won on the bike, not on the run. And not I don't mean that by a breakaway, I mean that by some people are going to be too tired to run fast off that bike. And unless you do the base training now, that's 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 going to make the difference. So the base training has been done, and now I just need to be able to put in an extra bit of fitness. So.
But like, and unlike everyone else, I'm running, I'm running fast. Cool. And the training group you have around you, do you want to talk about that? Okay. So yeah, yeah the, the squad of training works great. Um, there's some real big names in there, like Jody and Sophie. Uh, on the lad side, it's really cool. You know, really relaxed. A group of guys, so like Pezza and Harry and Nathan, uh, all racing internationally. Uh, yeah, we just work together and we just, you know, get through. Obviously, I train with a few of the Triumph guys as well, it's really cool. Just to be able to link in with uh, other people. It's just really relaxed, but relaxed and getting the work done. Yes, yeah, it's, it's great. Cool. Well, thank you for talking to us. Um, if you want to yeah. just kind of sign off and let us know where people can keep up to date with what you're up to. Okay, uh, thank you for listening. I'm James Teagle. Uh, you can keep up to date with me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Just search James underscore Teagle and you should find me.